This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter 16, verse 21, and it reads, Behold, victuals shall be sold good cheap upon earth, that they shall think themselves to be in good case. And even then shall evils grow upon earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. Our praises, our power, our glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah Kodash. Yahweh, being the name of the Father who the world evenly calls God. Yahweh, meaning He exists. Bahashem, meaning in the name Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. His name is Yahweh Shai, meaning He is salvation. Bahashem, in the name Rakah Kodash, Spirit Holy. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach one of the world who taught me this truth. Peace and salutation to the Akyam, the fellow laborers, the hopeful elect, pushing this truth at risk of their own lives through the four corners of the earth. To the Akwati Melissa and listen and learn in sincerity and in truth and in silence, Shalom. Akyam meaning brothers, Akwati meaning sisters, Shalom meaning peace be unto you. This is your brother Shema from the GMS Toronto camp here in Toronto, here with another lesson. Right, we'll get right into it. Right. Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 21, and it reads, Behold, behold means look. Victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth. Right, victuals meaning food. Right. People think that, people think, uh, you know, granted, we're going into the, we're going into the time of, uh, Inflation, which will eventually turn into hyperinflation, which will eventually turn into a collapse of things, right? But for so long, everything's been che- food's been cheap, so people th- people thought people have thought everything's good, everything's blessed, right? That they shall think themselves to be in good case, right? They've thought everything's good, cheap food, you know, with low interest rates. You know, but victuals means food. And even then shall evils grow upon earth, right? Even then, when things are when, when things seem good, evils are growing upon the earth. Evil meaning bad times. And what are some of these evils? Sword, right? Sword's a uh, killing instrument. The modern day sword is is is, is the stick, the heater, the blicky, the clapper, right? Famine. Famine's coming to this place, man. America the Great, Babylon the Great will be touched with famine. Thus saith the scriptures. Right? And great confusion, right? Great confusion. Babylon the Great is a place of confusion. The great melting pot. Confusion. You can be a... a, a, You can eat Skittles candy. You know what I mean? If If you know, you know. Right? You can worship any god you want. Right, you can change your your your. You can renovate your plumbing, right? That's confusion. Let's read this uh, article. Supermarkets. It came out on end time headlines. Right today, May May twenty eighth. 2024, the hopeful year, Jacob's trouble coming to pass, right? And famine is a part of Jacob's trouble. It says here, supermarkets warn against panic buying as Britons, right? And this is UK news. So the UK supermarkets are warning their, their citizens against panic buying. As Britons told to have three days of supplies stashed, right? So what is this diabolical madman? This ruling class elite, these devils, devil meaning deceiver, what are they up to? Supermarkets have warned against panic buying after the government, UK government, British government, launched a website telling Britons to have three days worth of tin food and water to prepare for an emergency. So they're telling their citizens, stock up on food and be prepared for an emergency. Let's get a scripture real quick. Second Corinthians. 2 verse 11 and it reads 
lest Satan should get an advantage of us, right? The physical counterpart of the spiritual demon Satan, right? Who are the Edomites, the physical counterpart. They are the Edomites, right? Who are the so-called uh, the so-called white man, right? They're not white. They're red, right? But the rulership, their rulership, these Edomites, their rulership are these bankers, right? These inter uh, these these uh, international banking families, these banking cartels, they're in rulership, right? They're the ones conducting a diligent search. They're the one uh, 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 formulating devices to use on the people. Ultimately, it's the tribes they're trying to they're trying to eradicate, right? But the, whoever falls with whoever falls alongside the tribes is collateral co collateral damage in their eyes. Isa don't care. For we are not ignorant of his devices, right? The elect, Lord willing, we're of that number. The elect, the living, right? You, 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 you uh, this truth makes you quick, it quickens you, meaning to make alive. So the, 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 the living who are the elect, they are not ignorant of Satan, of, 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 of these devices, right? The, the, there's no good, there's no good in him. He, he's wicked. He, he, he's. There's no truth in Esau Edom, right? He's got he's got uh, ulterior motives, right? Ultimately, the NWO, his new world order, ultimately it's the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shai's new world order. But the Lord's putting the spirit on these Edomites to move, right? The, these, these international bankers want a new world order. And to bring in the new world order, right, they, they got to collapse everything. And, 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 the, and, the, and the, the poster boy of the new world order, the poster boy of the new world order, is 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 the the, the uh, Revelation thirteen verse sixteen on down the sea hip, the grain of rice. Right, no man can buy or sell, rich and poor, free and bond. That scripture right there, it's a physical, implantable device. Deputy Prime Minister Oliver Dowden has revealed a new site to advise people. How to be ready for various risks, such as flooding, power outages, right? And these are devices. This is what Esau is going to use, right? He's got to destabilize. He's going to use weather disaster, flooding, power outages, right? Blackouts, right? Jacob's trouble is going to have, Jacob's trouble is going to be a time of no electricity in Babylon the Great, America the Great. These are his devices he's going to use to destabilize, the West, right, beginning with America the Great, Babylon the Great, but he's gonna, he's doing his deal. He, 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 right now, Esau is taking intel, test runs, test runs in the UK, that they, they take their notes, they tweak it, they adjust it, and then they execute it again, right? Test runs in Australia, test runs in Canada, right? Canada's censored right now, man. Right there's new there's news of FEMA camps being built in the UK, and now they're telling their people they're telling their people to get ready for emergencies. Right, what else? Another emic or biosecurity crisis. Right, poly crisis, biosecurity crisis. Bio meaning body. So what? Bi uh, 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 emics, uh, pestilence. Right, it says here crisis. Right, the the, the serpent piss back in a. Uh, 2021 was a test run, man. Right? And millions, billions of people drank the serpent piss, man. The prepare website tells people to put together an emergency kit, including wind-up torches, at least three liters of bottled water, and food that doesn't need cooking, such as tinned meat or vegetables. But retailers have warned shoppers to build their resources over time, rather than taking part in emic styled panic buying supermarket shelves were stripped bare as, as the country was landed in lockdown with snaking queues and overloaded trolleys pictured at shops andrew opie director of food and sustainability at the british retail consortium told mail online retailers did an excellent job ensuring the country had access to food and other necessities throughout the emic and we are confident they will rise to future challenges. Listen, right? The time of Jacob's trouble, the 
calamity they're about to come on this place. Right? America the Great. The calamity is about to come. No amount of uh, prepping is gonna is gonna is gonna is gonna have you is gonna be able to sustain you, right? There's 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 news there's news up here in Canada that uh, uh, food banks are are, are 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 under stress. They can't keep up with the demand, right? And who who and who are the people that are looking for uh, are seeking food banks? Middle class people. Right, they can't keep up. Right, so what? What more when all hell's breaking loose? There's a uh, emix going on. There's rioting in the streets. There's looting. There's stealing. Right, lamentations. Lamentation five verse nine in the KJV. We got our bread with the peril. Salakia. Right, this is during the time of the, the the Babylonian captivity. We got our bread with the peril of our lives because of the sword of the wilderness, right? So when 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 Jacob's trouble touches America the Great, Babylon the Great, right? Getting food the, 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 is gonna is gonna be an act of putting your your life in peril. Right, because of the sword of the wilderness, right? Because the violence is gonna be is, is going to be uh the law and order. Right? When people are bugging out and, and hungry and the lights are out, there's no order, man. You think there's gonna be nice uh um orderly lines, lineups for handouts? It's gonna be anarchy. Let's read this in NLT. Lamentation 5 and 9 in the NLT. We hunt for food at the risk of our lives. For violence rules the countryside. Right. Obtaining food is going to be at the risk of your life. Right. And what, is that, what, what does that mean? Uh, Gurga troops, UN troops, martial law. Let me read this again. Andrew Opie, Director of Food and Sustainability at the British Retail Consortium, told Mail Online, retailers did an excellent job ensuring the country had access to food and other necessities throughout the EMIC, right? They're, they're oh, yeah, we were able to handle it during the EMIC. We were successful in ensuring everyone had food. And we are confident they will rise to future challenges. The future challenge is going to be uh, uh, Jacob's Trouble. There's going to be no order. There's gonna. There's not going to be. Uh, uh, it's going to be every man for himself. Right. This is the UK. Right. Telling their their citizens to get ready and prepare. Right. Babylon the Great is going to be a a, a a zoo. Right. You got to remember everyone. Everyone in America, the Great Babylon the Great has has a stick, the sword. That's why these test runs are in these other countries, right? The UK don't have uh, uh, sticks like that. Australia doesn't have sticks like that. Canada doesn't have sticks like this. Canada, certain cities have sticks, but it's uh, it's it's uh illegal. A lot of states in America, uh, it's open carry. While it is sensible to have some additional food at home. Most households will find they already have sufficient, non-perishable sitting in the cupboard. Ministers hope that individual households being prepared will take the pressure off emergency services when dealing with a crisis. And listen, emergency services, they ain't going to be trying to eat too. They ain't going to care about... It's going to be all hell breaking loose, man. Right, emergency services not gonna, like that movie World War Z when they were looting the store. Uh, the scene with Brad Pitt and a cop comes in and everyone gets sh the Brad Pitt and his, his, the people that are with him got got scared, thinking the cop was coming in there to lay down some 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 rules, some law, and uh, 
he bypassed him and he, he reached for the the cop bypassed the, the looters and he reached for the the baby formula emergency services are going to be concerned with um, um their own families right but america's been smug let's close right not a worry in the world and we're we're, we're seeing the calculated uh, implosion of America the Great Babylon the Great. Uh, Revelation 18. And 7. NLT. She glorified herself. And lived in luxury. America. Right. She's proud. And she's lived in luxury. Beginning with her, 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 her elites. Beginning with her elites. Her rulership. Right. And it trickles down into, into its citizens. So match it now with torment and sorrow. She boasted in her heart, heart be mine. I am queen and on my throne, right? And that's the, that's the pride of America, the great Babylon, the great. We got the greatest military in the, I, 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 military in the, in, in the earth. I am an American, right? Nobody can't touch us. She boasted in her heart, I am, I am queen on my throne. I am no helpless widow. And I have no reason to mourn, right? You have no reason to mourn right now, right? Heavy judgment is coming for America the Great, Babylon the Great, right? These test runs, these elites are about to wind down on their test runs in these other regions, these other countries, and are about to execute the, the, the their, their devices on Babylonian soil. So with that, Call Allah, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Rakaha, Kwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone and teach on Ruwell. Shalom to the old for elect.